class, we are singing about birds today. But first, let's sing our hello song. Get your clapping hands ready. Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch the ground? Can you turn around? Can you say hello, hello? Hello, hello, can you stamp your feet? Hello, hello, can you stamp your feet? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch the ground? Can you turn around? Can you say hello, hello? Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you stamp your feet? Well done, everyone, good job. The first song we're gonna sing about today is about a hen. Now I'm going to use my castanet. <laughs> if you have a castanet, pull it out. If you don't, you can use your hands as well. Nice big claps like that. Or you can use some rhythm sticks. But we're not going to be... You have to wait your turn to play. Are you ready? I'm going to sing first. And then you're going to have your turn. Let's do a run through. Brown old hen, clap, clap, clap. Brown old hen, clap, clap, clap. Brown old hen, clap, clap, clap. Where'd you hide your eggs? That was pretty good. Now, do you think that when you tap your castanet or your rhythm sticks or your hands, and can you all sing clap, clap, clap? Can you try that? Hmm. Let's try one more time. You ready? One, two, three, four. That was better. Good job. Are you ready? Brown old hen, clap, clap, clap. Brown old hen, clap, clap, clap. I said brown old hen, clap, clap, clap. Where'd you hide your eggs? One. Brown old hen, Brown old hen, clack, 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 I said brown old hen, clack, 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 where'd you hide your eggs? <gasps> Two. Brown old hen, clack, 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 brown old hen, clack, 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 I said brown old hen, clack, 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 where'd you hide your eggs? <gasps> Three. Brown old hen, clack, clack, clack. Brown old hen, clack, clack, clack. I said brown old hen, clack, clack, clack. Where'd you hide your eggs? <gasps> Four. Brown old hen, clack, clack, clack. Brown old hen, clack, clack, clack. I said brown old hen, clack, clack, clack. Where'd you hide your eggs? How many? Five. Well done. <laughs> Good job, everyone. I have a special bird here. Can you see? If you'd like to be a bird, you can get your beautiful wings out and very gently fly around the room. Are you ready? A little bird, a little bird, fly around. Up to the sky and down to the ground. Little bird, little bird, spread your wings. Open your beak and sweetly sing. Little bird, little bird, find your nest. Now it's time to go and rest. Little bird, that is not the place to rest. Let's try that one more time. Are you ready, everyone? Little bird, little bird, fly around. Up to the sky and down to the ground. Little bird, little bird, spread your wings. Open your beak and sweetly sing. Little bird, little bird, find your nest. Now it's time to go and rest. <gasps> little bird, that is not the place to rest. Oh, try it one more time. Are you ready? Little bird, little bird, fly around. Up to the sky and down to the ground. Little bird, little bird, spread your wings. 
Open your beak and sweetly sing. Little bird, little bird, take a rest. Now it's time to find your nest. <gasps> Look at this nest. <laughs> Are you flying around like a bird? Do birds fly softly and slowly like graceful? Will they do that? They're nice and graceful when they're in the air, aren't they? Maybe you can fly around like a bird, like this. Good job. Did you know that birds hatch out of eggs? They did. We are going to pretend that we are a bird and that we are going to hatch out of our egg. I've got a scarf and I'm going to put it on top of my head. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can use your hands and hide away. Here's a baby bird, he's hatching from his shell. First comes his head and then comes his tail. He stretches his legs, he gives his wings a flap. He flies and flies and flies and flies. What do you think of that? Down, 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 down. Here's a baby bird, he's hatching from his shell. First comes his head and then comes his tail. He stretches his legs, he gives his wings a flap. He flies and flies and flies and flies. What do you think of that? Down, 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 down. Let's try it one more time. Down low, go on the floor. Here's a baby bird, he's hatching from his shell. First comes his head and then comes his tail. He stretches his legs, he gives his wings a flap. He flies and flies and flies and flies. What do you think of that? Down, 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 down. Well done, everybody. Maybe you can sing the down, 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 down. Would you like to try? Down, 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 down. I have a piano behind me. Would you like to hear what it would sound like on the piano? to our scarf and we're going to pop it on our head because the rooster is going to wake us up. Are you ready? Or if you want to lie down, you can lie down too. All around the barnyard, the animals are fast asleep. Sleep in cows and horses, so sleep in pigs and sheep. Here comes the cocky rooster to sound his daily alarm. <gasps> cock a doo 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 wake up sleepy farm. Cock a doo 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 wake up sleepy farm. <gasps> do you think you can sing cock a doodle doo with me? Are you ready? Let's do it again. Everyone, lie down. Shh. All around the barnyard, the animals are fast asleep. Sleep in cows and horses, sleep in pigs and sheep. Here comes the cocky rooster to sound his daily alarm. <gasps> cock a doo 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 wake up sleepy farm. Cock a doo 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 Wake up, sleepy farm. Oh, that was fabulous. One more time. Are you ready? Lie down. All around the barnyard, the animals are fast asleep. Sleeping cows and horses, sleeping pigs and sheep. Here comes the cocky rooster to sound his daily alarm. <gasps> cock a doo doo doo. Wake up, sleepy farm. Cock a doo doo doo. Wake up, sleepy farm. Yay! Good job, everybody. You've done such a great job singing with me and being a bird. Maybe we need to get Leo the lion out to sing goodbye. Are you ready? He's asleep again. If you say, wake up, Leo. Maybe a little bit louder. Ready? Wake up, Leo. Oh, Leo. Asleep again. All the boys and girls would 
flight to sing goodbye. Are you ready? I hope you enjoyed your class today. I'll see you in the next few days. Keep on smiling, keep on driving. I'll be to send goodbye. Chato mate, have a good day. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hi, it's Lola. These are your teacher notes. The first song that we sung was called Clack, Clack, Clack. It is a call and response song, which means that the caller sings the first line and then the responders, the children in this case, will sing Clack, Clack, Clack. So the idea is that the teacher doesn't sing that part, that they get to the point where the teacher is silent and the children get to sing their part so they can auto-tune themselves because what happens is that when the teacher sings for them, they don't hear themselves being tuned, so they end up singing out of tune and just being hidden behind the teacher's voice. So give the children opportunity to self, uh, to auto-tune themselves, I mean, and be quiet and let them do their part as well. So that's Clack, 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 Brown Old Hen. Good song, that one. You can use sticks or castanets or drums. You can do anything. The whole concept of the song, besides the call and response, is also to rest and wait for your turn to play. It's not always just playing constantly. Music is about the space in between the notes as well. The other song that I wanted to talk about was um, Little Bird to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's really about getting the children to listen to how sweet the music is and to move their bodies sweetly to it. It's a movement song. And once children understand that it's not always about being thrashing and fast, that they have to listen to the music and adjust their body to the song, that, that they become more musical in that manner. The last one, Baby Bird Will Be Hatched Out of Our Shell, it's about singing an octave in the major scale. So that's why I played it on the piano as well. Down, 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 down. I did my hand movements, just going down the body so they could understand that they were going from high to low. I didn't do the solfege, there is certain hand movements that you would do for those particular notes. I haven't taught that in our class. I don't want to confuse anybody. So I just did a simple hand movement that registered that we're going down in register. So I hope you'll enjoy that as well. This bird songs are all about being floaty and free. And there is some beautiful music that you can play for children to try and practice their floaty movements. And I'll add that in our PDF downloads as well. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks guys.